came to Falkland, <coughs> what's the name of the police officer? You know, or something? Oh, son. Son, Mr. Son. son. He was reluctant even to give his name. That's why I must be my Came out with a story about dance. It was clearly an afterthought. And it was clear that they were trying to find a way of keeping this one living in the police cell for a night. What I observed most of this and the contract administration of justice. Mr. Wanjiki was handcuffed. In the presence of his two children, <coughs> in the presence of his wife, clearly trying to demean Mr. Wanjiki <coughs> as head of the family. And the law is very clear on handcuffing. You only handcuff an individual when you have evidence that he is likely to escape. Mr. So Ojiki <coughs> himself and his little children and wife had gone to that police, had gone to that voluntarily. And there was no reason or there was no way Mr. Ondiko would have escaped from the country at all. <coughs> Is Mr. Trump full of venom, full of malice, trying to demonstrate that the Scots have power and authority to do anything he can under the Kenyan constitution? Handcuffed in the presence of his initial children. Your Honor, this is not what we fought for. We are going back to primitivity in the administration of criminal justice in this country. The 2010 Constitution was to establish an environment under which we do things in a civilized manner, not in a crude, primitive manner at all. You cannot go ahead and handcuff an individual in the presence of his little children, in the presence of his dear wife. What you are doing? And that must be condemned. In the strongest possible language. Your Honor, may I remind you very respectfully of our 2010 Constitution. We have items in our 2010 constitution which are dear to the public. The family. The children. Privacy.